bless you, no. And hello, friends. Welcome back to Sim Golf. Last episode, we tied the course record, despite a, a monumental screw up on the ninth. So, first port of call. is to make the ninth a little easier. <laughs> a little longer, actually. But also a little easier. Ivana Richmond, you get in the you get in the rough. I don't care about you. Actually I do care about you. <laughs> you, you you can have your square of fairway until these guys are done. This hole is too hard. I think instead of water directly at the hole. Well, actually, just make it a tricky green. How about that? Yeah. We probably need additional hazards on the turn here then. And we will make sure this is flat. Mm -hmm. Like so. Mm -hmm. Will we make this a downhill hole? No, I don't think we will. Okay, so there's our new look ninth hole. It's straight off the tee now. And that will be infinitely better for everyone. <laughs> and you know what? It's gonna have a waste bunker down the left hand side. And that waste bunker is actually going to going to become the entirety of the gap between the first and ninth holes. Because we have enough money to do random stuff like this, so. <laughs> Never seen such waste bunker. That looks absolutely horrific. I'm okay with it. <laughs> I feel like we need just a little extra water somewhere. Down the entirety of the left of the seventh, you say? I mean, I can't see you wrong. Ooh, that was a bounce. Yes, I realise we've just spent about 200,000 simoleons <laughs> making this water feature, but that's fine. It's totally fine. No more houses to build. It's a shame because once we get about, once we get um, the option to build a house, I think here will be a nice spot for it. As would here, actually. I think. Interesting. Jupiter Williams, as opposed to. Mars Williams. Excuse me. Thank you, Bruce Springstone. Ah, Jennifer L. Lopez. I am picky, playing the last hole in your course. How's he doing this round? 
Wow. Course record could be about to go again. There's birdies and eagles in that round. One, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He is ten under par. Could be scenes. Scenes the like of which we've, the golf world has never seen. Speed up here. We've got a bit of a backlog happening. It's a long hole after par three, so that makes sense. But oof, Marshall Mathers, slackers intimidated. One hundred and fifteen. He's brutal. Chi Chi Celebrity, 151 players to you. Five weeds eradicated. I paid you 23,000 Samoans and you've eradicated five weeds. Going to buy track seven. Ooh, it's a little broken. There we go, it's fixed. Essentially what I'm gonna do, because we now don't have out of bounds down this hole. You're earning your keep. We make this water instead, and that way it will actually play slightly easier than uh, than though it was out of bounds. But it's still a, a chunky hazard. I think that's okay. I think that's okay. What are you going for? Madness! It's still not going to be easy, this hole. Do we want one more practice round? Joe Pro. Thank you. I'm going to see if I can find the. I'm not sure I can. Up to 89 was a grade. One more point and we get up to that 90, which I think gives us a 500,000 first prize. We'll take on the match with Joe Pro. <laughs> I'm so used to designing the first hole, is that par 3? Mm, that's not a great drive, is it? I, don't know, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Hey, Ivana Richmond, I just hit a ball at you. What are you going to do?
<sighs> she gave us something in the last one, we can't use it. Barn. This hole needs a barn. We can use it. We just don't get to find out what it does. Cool. <laughs> I love this game. It's it works so well. I don't think we've got much to worry about from Joe Pro here. Oh, we have a house to put down. Where is it gonna go? Where is it gonna go? This is where we think a real estate could be. That sounds like it could be correct. One hundred and eighteen thousand. I'm sorry. It's only one hundred and fifteen thousand now. Hey, it's going down. What's happening here? Probably all the people burping beside it. Well, that's paid for the water, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> One hundred and fifteen thousand simoleons for a house. What is this? Uh -huh. Britain. Oh. Yeah, right. Like you get a house for one hundred and fifteen thousand. Considering some of the plots of land are worth about two thousand. I love riding over this scenic bridge. Cool. Glad you enjoy it. I love driving through this celebrity's garden. Joel Pro, what are you doing? Are you are you attempting to hit Shaq? Shaq will kill you. Kingsley applies for membership at your club. We're teeing off from Shaq's garden. How has that worked? Michael Nike. Is that supposed to be Michael Stipe? Just want to check. Why don't we have a second? Where is the big plot? It's Spain. Okay, that's fair. Oh, the actual big plot is Jamaica. Okay, and it's nine hundred thousand. Interesting. Interesting. Looks like we're finishing up in Jamaica on this particular playthrough. Just the casual four-stroke lead going into the third hole then. But to be honest, it's not Joe Pro's score we're, we're trying to beat here. It's Mr. I. M. Picky. Who is apparently also known as Mr. I M. Pretty good at golf, actually. B yards are safe and it's very Sorry, we don't get to read the rest of that. I think the end goal for this game, I would say, would be, oh, Tommy Technician's going to get a weed. I think the end goal would be, 
god, there's two of them going after it. Who's gonna get there? Who's gonna get there? Who's gonna get there? Tommy Technician, the first one I noticed for the win. Oh no. <laughs> Where was he meant to be? I think he's meant to be here. Oh wow, it's another albatross on the third. <laughs> Have we made this course too easy? It is very possible. Where is our good friend Tommy Technician? Here he is. Good Tommy. Of course, Crap Tommy has eradicated more weeds than Good Tommy. But we can't be sullying ourselves with worrying about that information. It was a simple foot race, you see. Whoever got to that weed first got to be the Good Tommy. That is a humongous bounce. And furthermore, Yoo-hoo! <sighs> I'm picky too, apparently. Even though he's clearly played it at least twice already. Because, you know. Oh, but we only took the land once. Okay. That, yeah, that's fair, that's fair. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Get this one in the hole. No. We are not going Albatross Eagle Eagle. It's devastating, really. You who indeed. Joe Pro's giving it the old bogey, 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 bogey method. Six under after four. Is it where we'd like to be? Probably not. We know we can go seven under. Hell, under the right cir circumstances, we could probably go nine under. But we can't be unhappy about it. I think Joe Pro is just a stalker. He's just hitting it into everyone's back garden. Who put that building there? He's going to say. I don't know. Played away from it. Great. You you did good? Question mark. We finally get a shot now. Give me an albatross again. Imagine a round with two albatrosses on it. It seems like Novak Djokovic has been kicked out of the US Open. Like that would happen. Oh, wait a minute. So yeah, Novak Djokovic kicked out of the US Open last night. For... 
being a knob. It's not the word I want to use, but it's the word I will use. He, twice in the space of two games, hit balls in anger. And the second one hit a line judge. So it's an instant dismissal. And it couldn't happen to a nicer fellow. Honestly, one of my least favourite tennis players of all time. I can't understand why people still go to bat for him. Who did put pickles on this burger? Uh -huh. <sighs> so many, so many refreshers all around the course, all peddling their wares, all making the same noise. It's ridiculous, really. This could be a par for Joe Pro. Ladies and gentlemen, he's done it. Oh, we have three houses to put down. Let's quickly take care of that before we get too far into this. Michael Nike bought the house for silly amounts of money. 75,000 for that one, you can have that. Yeah, see, this is not worth a lot. Uh, where do you want your house? Come on, pick it. Put, tell me where you want your house, and I will put it down. Fifty thousand, right there. That'll do. Forty-seven thousand for one in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, you'll do. We are almost at nine hundred thousand. I won't be going straight to Jamaica because we want to get some cash in reserve for actually being able to build our holes. But Doubly important we take something off this drive now. <laughs> Miss it left, there's water. Miss it right, there's out of bounds. Like, mm. Not entirely... Not entirely confident in this one. I think I'll uh, only hit it 300 yards instead of 330. Ah, Dennis and partner, Ben. Dennis and Ben getting to do a bit of male bonding with ladies' underwear. Ooh, I can only apologise for the sauciness of the the content on the channel at present. Joe Pro almost hit that on the fairway. Yeah. He's definitely, definitely a stalker. Of course, there was no way he was going to get that as far as Michael Knight's house. Gee, what an ugly home site. It's alright, there'll be a celebrity in it in a minute. Uh -huh. Would have liked for that to have gone in. That'll be good for 10 under. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 under, yeah. So 10 under through 7. I think... Can we assume I am picky got 12 under? Lucky bounce. No lucky bounce. Two feet. 
Hamel Panderson. Gonna do a bit of sunbathing with the trees. If we assume I am picky had twelve and he can't have had twelve under. He would he could only have been eleven under. Because he had a par. And a par in the third. Okay, we are birdie birdie. There's the first one. We are a birdie away from probably the course record. <laughs> How's this supposed to work, he says. Well, see, so you hit the ball. A bit like that. Oh no, there's a hill. There's not. It's completely in my mind. <laughs> I, I genuinely saw a hill at the end of the fairway there, leading into the waste bunker, and I was like... We don't want that. We, we, we just don't want to hit that into the waste bunker. <laughs> Mel Gifford. Right. In the hole would be nice here. As long as it's close. It's definitely close. Into the hole. It wasn't actually into the hole. It was just close, so close that the game's distance meter went to zero. Oh, that's annoying. Well, we won eight out of nine holes, tied the lot, tied the other one, and set the course record. It would appear, win by twenty-two shots. It felt like more, in all honesty. It really felt like more. Five hundred and twenty thousand now. Okay. All of our holes have the accuracy trait. First Grand Slam course. Let's get our recovery skills back up to scratch. And let's call this episode here. We won the match. We fixed the ninth hole. I think we set the course record. I'm pretty certain we set the course record. So until next time, we're... We'll certainly be looking towards moving to our new home in Jamaica. I hope you'll join me for that. And hopefully I'll see you guys then. Bye for now.